Hello and welcome to this Quali Systems test shell demo. In this demo, we show how test shell can be used to test a device using a traffic generator. In this case, we will use Spirant's test center. Here is a commonly used setup for testing a device with a traffic generator. We connect two ports between the DUT and the STC. Now we generate traffic from the test center ports towards the DUT and receive the traffic back on the opposite ports. Finally, we check for frame loss on the DUT and STC to determine if the test has passed or failed. Now let's see how simple test flows looks like. First, we connect to the STC and reserve ports. We will then load the test center configuration file. On the DUT, we need to clear the ports counters. And we then start to generate traffic for the time needed for the test. Next, we stop the traffic generation from the STC. And we finish by verifying all the statistics from the STC and the DUT. Now let's see how we run this sort of test manually. Starting with the load configuration process. First, we are asked to reserve the ports. In this setup, we have set one stream per port. Once the test center is ready, we can clear the DOT counters before the test begins. And now we start the traffic. We can let the test run for a few minutes or overnight. During that time, we can check the traffic rate and other port statistics. We'll stop the test now and go on to verify the results. Here we can verify that the same number of frames sent from each port reach the opposite port. Now we get the port counters from the DUT. And we'll probably have to somehow collect all the data manually to report our test results. Now let's use TestShell and see how simple it is to automate this same scenario. QualiSystem TestShell is an end-to-end -end test automation framework that covers the entire testing cycle. From advanced test and lab management, including seamless integration with the test environment, through programming-free test authoring and automated test execution. And it also includes a comprehensive test reporting and analysis capabilities. In this demo, we focus on test creation. We will use the same test flow with some small additions to make the test more robust and reusable. Let's start our test by pinging the DUT to verify that it's reachable. Now, we check the ping results and decide if we can continue with the test. If the DUT is not reachable, then we send the test owner an email and terminate the test. Moving back to our test flow, we begin by loading the configuration file to the STC. We can change this step to use dynamic values taken from variables instead of static values. This lets us to create a robust test that could be reused in different labs or with different resources. It's a very simple process that instantly upgrades our test.
Next, we'll clear the port statistics on the DUT to see just the test traffic. Then, we start generating traffic from both ports on the test center. We had a message telling us that the test waits for 15 seconds while the traffic runs. Now we stop the traffic generation. Once the traffic has stopped, we can get all the ports and stream statistics from the test center. And also get the port statistics from the DUT. Let's record our tenant session with the DUT while we ask for the port statistics. When we're done asking for the statistics, we can pass them so it's easier to access them later on. We can ensure that passing is done correctly and that we can view the results in a table. Returning to the flow, we now add a pass-fail criteria for the test. And then we can end the test. This concludes the building part of the test. We saw how simple it is to build the flow while making it more flexible and dynamic, and how this allows us to reuse the test as a building block for other scenarios. We are going to run the test and see how it looks during runtime. So, let's run! The pink step is complete, and we can see that there is no frame loss, so the test continues. In the following step, TESL connects to the test center and loads the configuration file. Next, TESL connects to the DUT to clear the port statistics. Then, we start the traffic generation and show our wait message to the user. Usually, the user had to wait until the run is over, but with TESHL, the test can continue without intervention. Once we've run the traffic for enough time, we can stop it and start collecting the results. Finally, we verify the results from each of the ports and decide if the test has passed or failed. Let's review what we saw in this demo. We saw how easy it is to use the TestCent library from TestShell. It's just as easy with any other traffic generator. We saw a Telnet session with the DUT. Telnet is just one of the many built-in technologies and protocols that TestShell supports. We saw how easy it is to build a test by dragging and dropping reusable building blocks. We saw the capture and replay capabilities in terminal view, and how to use dynamic values in a test. TESHL allows non-programmers to join the test automation effort, and it makes it easy to reuse or modify tests. We saw TESHL powerful passing capabilities. That allows us to easily view and validate test results and keep only the relevant parts. We saw how during runtime, all test results are automatically collected to a central server. This allows to easily create customizable reports later on, and to run advanced data analysis on aggregated test results. At the bottom line, it all comes up to higher product quality. Using TestShell end-to-end framework allows our customers to reach significant business benefits, including shortening time to market, reduce expenditures and streamline compliance and audit trails.